The same way a hot end can make or break a printer, an extruder will define what kind of filaments you can print and how reliable your printer is. If an extruder is not set up correctly, it will either strip the filament by biting too hard in it, clog the nozzle by pushing too much material, or not print at all. Building a right extruder for a delta is as simple as getting the right distance between the extruder motor and the hot end. If too long, the filament will bend before reaching the hot end. Think of it as pushing through a cardboard with a short metal wire or a long one. The long one will be more prone to bending. On the other hand, placing your extruder right next to the hot end might not be the right answer either, as it will result in the phenomenon known as heat creep, a process through which the heat of the hot end climbs up through the filament, rendering it too soft for the extruder gear to bite. For this printer, we're going to build a flying extruder, a mod for boating extruders that let the extruder hang over the hot end throughout the whole printing process. Yes, this will add weight to the carriages, but it won't interfere with the printing speed. To build the extruder, we'll need three carriages, carriage attachments. The printed flying extruder triangle, the motor holder, and the extruder mechanism. We'll need some elastic fabric, a fast pneumatic fitting, some PTFE lining tube, a hopped gear, a 607 set bearing, some M3 balls and an M4 bolt with washer and nut. Let's start by gluing the elastic fabric to the carriage attachments and flying extruder triangle. We'll make a closed loop, overlap it and glue it with super glue. We want to make sure the carriage attachment wiring is facing up and not down. Repeat this process for the three sides. Add the hop gear to the remaining Nemesis 17 motor. Put some super glue on the shaft. Slide the hop gear in and tighten the grub screw. Now we'll build the extruder mechanism by sliding the 607 set bearing on the side and fastening it with the M4 bolt, washer and nut combination. But don't tighten it too much, it should have some play so as to be able to turn when the filament is being pushed. We'll add an M3 25mm bolt with the nut on the side of the extruder mechanism. This nut will be useful for changing the pressure on the extruder when changing to softer or harder materials. Add the fast pneumatic fitting for the PTFE tube lining by screwing it to the opening on the extruder. Now fit the extruder to the motor using M3 10mm bolts. Cut 20 cm of PTFE lining tube and slide in the pneumatic fitting. Now use the motor holder to fix the extruder NEMA combination to the flying extruder triangle. Use some M3 20mm bolts to fix the carriage attachments to each carriage. Repeat the process three times and the flying extruder should now be hanging in the middle of the build surface. The cable length should match the hot end cable. So repeat the process for the bottom frame motors, cutting the provided set of cables by the middle, labeling the colors, adding the missing segments with 0.16 cable and making the necessary soldering and isolation process. We'll set the cable aside for now.